For most Californians, getting safe drinking water is as simple as turning on the tap. But for a significant number of families in rural, low-income communities, securing safe water for drinking, cooking, and bathing is a daily struggle. Their water sources are contaminated, treatment solutions are too costly, and they need our help. That's why the Association of California Water Agencies has made it a high priority to develop sensibly funded, effective solutions for safe drinking water in California's disadvantaged communities. Unfortunately, an 11th hour effort at the Capitol takes a major step in the wrong direction. SB 623 would impose a regressive statewide water tax on residences and businesses. Rather than working with water stakeholders and others, the bill's author held the language, waiting to share the specifics until the last weeks of the legislative session. We all agree, everyone deserves a safe water supply, but taxing Californians for an essential human right just doesn't add up, especially when concerns about water affordability are already being raised. To impose a first-ever statewide tax on Californians' water bills would turn local water agencies into taxation entities that send money to Sacramento. There is a much better way, a funding package with dollars from the state's general fund, which pays for many key public health and social programs, along with a new assessment related to nitrates and groundwater, and voter-approved bond money aimed at drinking water solutions for disadvantaged communities. This problem is a public health and social issue that requires focused leadership at the state level. The time for legislative leadership is now. Governor Brown and lawmakers should work with California's water community to solve this problem without a water tax. After all, what could possibly be a higher priority for state funding than safe drinking water for our most vulnerable communities?